Jessica, listen, you're talking to us today about procrastination. Why is that important? Because procrastination is usually the single most reason that holds people back from achieving their goals. Right, okay, so interesting. Whether your goal is to be an Olympic medalist or whether it's something in business, procrastination is the thing that holds people back, you say? Exactly, procrastination is ubiquitous, it's everywhere. Uh, the biggest club in the world is called the Procrastination Club, you know. <laughs> We've and all been in We that. all, you know, and it has, you know, um, proactive members, active members, and not so active members. So you all are members of this club from time to time. Right. So just summarise, in a nutshell, the definition of procrastination. Uh, a simple definition of procrastination is uh, to postpone things, to put things off to another day. Yeah. Things that you say and you know that you want to do, you have to do to be successful. Yeah. And yet we put them off. Why is that? But there are two main reasons uh, for procrastination. Yeah. Number one, this lack of uh, goals clarity, yeah. uh, when you're not really sure what exactly it is you want to achieve in life right. or in any part of your life. Mm -hmm. And number two is the fear of failure, which usually stems from uh, either your past experiences or other people's experiences. Right, okay. And so give me an example of, of a circumstance in which someone might procrastinate because of one of those two. If you are, for example, are wanting to start a new business, yeah and then you have so many things that you have to do to start that business and that means you have to really get a name for your business, get a website, and define your image, uh, what exactly you want to do and, and define your target market. So a lot of elements to it. And yeah. suddenly there's so much in front of you that you achieve. Yeah. And then you sit down and think, oh God, this is so overwhelming, I can't do it. <laughs> and then you start to procrastinate. Yeah. So this is just one example of, of okay. how, how it starts. Okay. Is there actually a cure for procrastination? Is it, is it a kind of one size fits all, do this and you'll get over procrastination? Yes, certainly there is. Uh, I've got a kit called Non-Procrastination Kit. Great, which you can, where can you buy that? Which you, you can carry <laughs> anywhere and the customers won't even bother you. <laughs> uh, and it's a 3S formula, yeah. uh, which stands for specific, strong and small. Right. Um, so when I say specific, uh, it's about specifying your goals very clearly. Right. And it has three, you have to answer three questions in this part. What, what is it exactly you want to achieve? Why you want to achieve it? And when do you want to achieve it by? Right. Um, so when I say, what is it you want to achieve? So you need to be really, really specific. I have some people sometimes come to me and say, oh, I want to be richer. And so they need to really specify whether it's they want to earn 100K, 200K, 500K, whatever that is. Right. Just to be very, very specific. Yeah, because if you don't set the goal, how do you know when you've gotten there? Exactly. Yeah. And um, the second part is, why do you want to achieve it? Yeah. What's, what's the reason? What's driving you to, 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 to that goal? Mm -hmm. So they need to define the why, because that's what drives their what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it said you can do anything if the why is big enough. Why is big enough. Yeah. You need to be very, very clear with, with the why. Yeah. And the uh, third one is when. When do you want to achieve it? So our brain is, our brain is quite, it needs some specific instructions. If you want to say, I want to be a millionaire, it doesn't understand when do you want a million by, you know, in yeah. this birth or next birth or, you know, in, in 50 years or in five years, in five months. So uh, giving it a deadline uh, helps your brain to start working towards it. Right. So you need to answer those three questions. I'll give you an example of one of my clients who uh, is an IT professional and uh, so she had been planning to write a book on how, I, how IT professionals can regain their social communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, it's a great niche, actually. Because, <laughs> you know, IT professionals um, usually are talking to their computers or other yeah. tech devices, and they, lose, they tend to lose those social communication skills. Yeah. So you want to write a book about that. Anyway, so she would sit down after dinner to do some research on this topic, and about an hour later, a couple of hours later, she would find herself Facebooking, talking to her mm. friends, three chat windows open. Yeah, we've all done that. <laughs> completely unrelated to what she wanted to do. Uh, but as soon as she answered those three questions, she specified very clearly. Uh, her goal, uh, why she wanted to do it, and when she wanted to do it by. She had the first draft of her book ready within 30 days. Wow, awesome. So that's the power of uh, specificity. So when someone lays out, here's what I want to do, I've specified it, and here's the time frame, then what about those days where they go, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like staying up late to write my book, or I don't feel like getting up early to do what needs to be done. What advice can you give them? Yeah, so that's, uh, there's this hidden um, power within when you define your why, that gives you power. Right. Because the, your why drives you. Yeah. Remember when I said your why is the high purpose, why you want to achieve this goal, why, do, why you want to become a millionaire. 
it's just for money or is it a high purpose to it? Right. That drives you, that wakes you up in the morning every day. Right. And if you have this uh, weakness of doubting yourself, doubting your skills, you can start doubting your doubts. You can use the same skill to doubt your doubts. Doubt your doubts. Yeah. And if How you, uh, unusual. <laughs> if you start, uh, if you find yourself consistently postponing things, yeah. you can use the same skill to postpone your procrastination. <laughs> right? I love it. I love it. That's yeah. actually really cool. Yes, yeah, so that that gives you power, right? So, that, so just let's work through this in an example. So I'm sitting at my desk and I need to pick up the phone or I need to do something that I'm procrastinating on. Yeah. How do I postpone my procrastination? is to start with identifying what skills you have, yeah. right? Now, procrastination is a, is a skill that you developed over the years, yeah, right? You're really much good at it. Consistency, right? <laughs> so a lot of people are quite consistent with procrastination. It's just basically to identify what's my strengths, what my weaknesses. Or oh, this is my weakness, how can I flip it around? How can I can use it to my benefit? Yeah. This is a skill, you know? You, if, if, we, I'm, if I'm consistent with something, I can be consistent with taking action as well. Right. So how can I turn that around? So if you take five minutes of action every single day towards your goals in all areas of your life, that keeps that gives you power and, and to, to move forward. Yeah. So for example, if you uh, if you have a business, we have to make uh, you know uh, cold calls, you know, and then sit down with a list of twenty potential prospects. You're bound to get overwhelmed by this, right? Yeah. And um, so you just pick three prospects at a time, yeah. get it done in small bites, because action cures all the fears and eventually procrastination. Yeah, and once you're in momentum, you know, things in, in motion stay in motion, exactly, don't they? Exactly, exactly. It gives you, keeps, keeps giving you power, you know. Um, uh, there's also a saying just called, uh, little by little you build, up, you build your power. So yeah. it's little by little, little action. You don't have to do massive action. Yeah. Keep things simple. Yeah, brilliant, okay. I love the idea of actually postponing your procrastination. What a great idea. Know. It's worked for me. <laughs> brilliant, well listen, thanks so much for sharing all those tips with us. Thank, Thank you so you. much, it's a pleasure. Thanks.